Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. At Josh's Frogs, we pride ourselves with providing a wide variety of feeder insects for you and your pets. A lot of times, it makes sense to buy feeder insects in bulk. They're cheaper this way. You can also ensure you have a plentiful supply of feeders for your pet reptile or amphibian. Let me show you how to keep those feeder insects for maximum longevity. Crickets are probably the most common bug fed to pet reptiles or amphibians. Housing them can be a bit involved, but it's simple. Keep them in a glass aquarium or sterilite container, make sure it has smooth sides so the crickets can't leave, and has a secure top. Provide egg crates for hides and a food and water source, such as Josh's Frog's insect watering gel and cricket food. A few paper towel rolls make collecting crickets easy. Keep them in the mid-70s to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and at low humidity. Mealworms are another popular feeder insect. These are beetle larvae and should be kept at 40 to 50 degrees in order to slow down pupation. A fridge is typically too cold, but sometimes the door is a proper temperature. After you receive the mealworms, place them on wheat bran and feed them a carrot for a couple days before cooling them down. If stored for longer than three weeks, take them out and feed them every few weeks. Mealworms are best stored on wheat bran in plastic containers with good ventilation. Superworms resemble mealworms but should not be kept cooler. Superworms can be kept at room temperature as they will not pupate in the presence of other bugs. Superworms will need to be fed though. A carrot will suffice. Keep superworms in a well-vented container on wheat bran. Waxworms are another common feeder insect. These moth larvae are high in fat and make great treats for reptiles and amphibians. Like mealworms, are best stored at 40 to 50 degrees. Keep waxworms stored on aspen shavings in a well-ventilated container. Black soldier fly larvae, sold under the trade names phoenix worms, calci worms, or repti worms, are known for their high calcium content. Store black soldier fly larvae at 50 to 60 degrees in the same media and container that they come in. Ideally, feed off all black soldier fly larvae within two to three weeks. Soldier fly larvae turn black before they pupate. Make sure to feed those to your pets first. Fruit flies are a popular feeder insect for those critters that love small food, such as dart frogs. Fruit fly cultures are best kept at 60 to 80 percent humidity and as close to 78 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. Don't let cultures get over 80, and remember to regularly feed flies out of a culture. If there's too many flies in a culture, it can crash. Looking for a quality source for feeder insects? Hop on over to joshesfrogs.com today.